Hello YouTube, back again here with some radio gear. What we have here is a mobile repeater build I've been working on for about two months now. Kind of just picking away here. I wanted a unit that uh, I could slam out and uh, on a hillside or you know deploy kind of on the fly. You can't just do that with uh, a normal repeater and just slam it in the woods. So this is kind of uh, kind of a shit hits the fan kind of build. Uh, you know, prepper, whatever you want to call it. Right here we have your voltage indicator, and that's uh, my power hookup right here, 12 volt. And right there is my end connector for my antenna. So inside here, I have my uh, two radios. I have two Motorola's. One is the SM120 and one is the SM50. Um, the SM50 on the bottom there, I'm running as my transmit radio. I kind of cut way back in the software and it's pushing 13 watts. Bad luck 13. <laughs> Anyhow, so, you know, if you run these radios, uh, I know the max tracks and some of the older ones are tanks. They make good repeater uh, repeater builds uh, You definitely want to cut them back. I know a lot of times they'll be cut way back and and, and you'll run a power amp amplifier out of them but They're not made To be blasted at their full potential at 40 watts, especially for repeater use it, it, It'll just burn the transmitter right up it won't last uh, you know it doesn't take a radio genius either to figure that out so you know cut your power back um, especially you know if you if you're running off a battery and a solar setup like myself you're not going to want to go pushing uh, a, a lot of amp draw you don't, you, you don't want to go push them too hard and the longevity and, and life of the radio uh, will be much higher with the with the wattage cut back what I'm going to be doing is tuning up this bad boy to go in there which is a Phelps Dodge duplexer we're gonna tune that up and also I'm gonna have this tuned up to the same frequency and we're gonna do another twist I just love throwing twisting on the videos uh, and we're gonna compare this Chinese duplexer this 50 watt versus uh, the the old Dodge Phelps, which is a very reputable uh, or, or name brand uh, duplexer. So we'll kind of stack the two against each other and show some comparisons. Um, over there, I have my ammo can. Um, this is my 12 volt power uh, source. I ha I'm running the Renogy uh, 10 watt charge controller. Um, and, you know, I know I've mentioned on my uh, other video, thanks to Gorilla Comp, uh, you've really kind of inspired me with uh, some of your doings and some of your videos. I know I've gained knowledge from just sitting in bed at night watching your videos, and uh, you've put out some great, great material. Um, this here is just a set of our little harness I made. Uh, of cables that I can deploy this thing. I can unplug my harness and plug this up and deploy this thing on a car battery or any other battery uh, rather quickly and it'll be stored down in there. I um, hope I'm not jumping around too much here. Uh, for moisture purposes, I got this moisture wick. Thanks again to Grillacom and one of his ideas I stole. Uh, these things are reusable. Put them in the oven for 250 degrees until they turn green again, and bam, yeah, you got to you slam her back in. I do have one of those also in my solar setup. Uh, it's for the mere fact it's metal, and drawing off that battery, I think, may cause condensation in that as well um, in uh, certain climates. I have a Renogy solar panel I hook up to that, a little 20 watt version, and again, I, you know. I will deploy this in the field and make a YouTube video. I have plans to go up on a mountaintop up here at about 1,600 feet above sea level uh, on some local public property. I found the spot. 
and it's it's a hike to get up there um, it's the main reason I took the bridge com duplexer out of here because that was a little pricey and you know this that Dodge or Phelps Dodge excuse me uh, duplexer I didn't pay as much for so I'm gonna run that out of it and pretty much the same same unit same performance um, but yeah, I'll deploy this out in the field. I'm gonna get a little 5 8 out of 5 8 wave, uh, wave uh, antenna. I think like a 5.5 dB mag mount antenna up in a tree. Uh, I did put some radials on it um, for a little ground plane. And uh, deploy this thing in the spring and I I'm gonna see how it does. Uh, hope it doesn't get stolen. It's a good possibility. If a hiker or somebody comes along or a hunter or an ATV rider, they might they might mess with it, they may not. It's a chance I guess I'm willing to take. Uh, but uh, another twist to the video would be stacking these two up against each other because I'm gonna tune them to my specific frequencies, which is 5.5 five and 5.75, five, five, um, running on the travel tune. And like I say, I'm putting out 13 watts. So we're gonna see what we get out of both of these performance wise. I'm gonna tune them up with the Regal here and we're going to put them to the test. So we'll be back here shortly with the tuning of these two duplexers and hooking the gear up and running some tests. Okay, I think we have this side tuned up fairly well. Um, impressively enough, this uh, appears to be driving the notch down to around 94, uh, peaking at about 94, 95 dBm. It's fairly impressive for this little, uh, little mobile duplexer. So we are tuned up on this one and I will save you guys the video time and footage on this Chinese one and tune it up uh, a, a meanwhile and get some short clips of comparisons. All right, hooked up to the transmit side and we are looking pretty good and the separation is awesome actually on the low side there. Um, we are almost right at 100 dB on the separation which is incredible so basically these two duplexers are tuned up and ready to rock and roll um, for the performance check so we're gonna get these hooked up to my mobile repeater and see what kind of output we're getting out to the antenna okay so I'm in full duplex mode here going through the uh, duplexer now and we are going to run the exact same jumpers um, going through the duplexer and we are getting out exactly 10 and a half watts out of the foom chinese 50 watt a little bit larger duplexer now we're going to hook up the phelps dodge and see what we get okay we have everything set up again it looks like a mess here but uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what we're pushing out of the, I think it's like a 40, 40 or rated, maybe even for 50 watts Phelps Dodge. It's an older one. Uh, I think it's supposed to be at 1.4 dB loss for uh, spec from factory. So let's see what happens. So that bad boy put out we're going to give it nine. It's almost eight and a half, but we're going to give it nine. And for the mere fact, the difference in this is I have three added connectors and they're BNC to end connectors because this, this is uh, BNC connections on this. So we could be getting some extra loss out of that. So it is right there at nine watts. So we're going to say nine watts uh, from the Phelps Dodge. 
So who won the battle? The Chinese won. That's why I've bought several of these duplexers. Um, every one I've ever tuned for GMRS comes right in at 1.2 dB loss. Um, so, and they're, oh, you want you to fall there. And they're, they're good for the price for 130 bucks. I got this one from like 90 off of eBay. Very good duplexer here. You've seen the separation on that unit. So very impressive. 